Good evening to those who listen. It is March 12th, 2024. It's 11.10 p.m. <clears throat> and if you remember, I was doing all those videos on the halos earlier today. Well, I discovered, I wish I would have been looking sooner. I might have seen it sooner. But at 3 o'clock, that's what I noticed at 3.10 so now we're looking at Tim Foster. Oops. Tim it's supposed to be paused. Tim Foster. So this is from Larson Bay, South View of the FAA webcam in Alaska, right? Okay, so the times I had to look all this up to make sure of the timing of this. So uh, if you take the local time, we'll say it started at 10. Let me go back. I mean, it might have started sooner. I don't know, but eh, stop. Clear out of the way for a second. All right, so that's a little bit before 10. All right, so it didn't show up yet. Hold on. So as soon as... Okay, so it's right around 10 a.m. local time in Alaska. And then I had to look it up UTC. So it's three hours difference from Alaska to here. So that would have made it like 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Well, I started seeing the halo at 3 p.m., but it could have been there longer. So I got some theories here now. All right, so... This thing, I'll just play it. This thing goes for a while, and it goes way past 3 p.m. I don't know how long it goes because the video ends. But what if, and I've been saying this for many years too, and some other people think the same thing. What if when a halo happens, that's weird, another notice the iPad Go thing down there for a different video. It looks like a halo. Hmm. Hold on. Kind of looks like a halo. Anyway, what if they're using halos to somehow obscure the view of a planet? So let's just say, just theoretically, that there's a planet that's out there that we could see if the powers that be weren't somehow obscuring it, right? Now let me play it. So this thing is rotating. It looks pretty, pretty big. There was people in the comments that were saying, uh, um, hold on, let me think for a second. Okay, so it's still there. You just can't see it as easily as I can't even make it high, but it's still there. Um, um, uh, Hold on a sec. The Final Days channel. Haven't seen her put her haven't seen her put any information out, any videos out at all for a while. But anyway, she used to show all these FAA webcams too. So uh if you compare, you know, in the past, this planet is getting bigger. Now, in this, you'll also see some more things, too. Let me go back and let me play it again. Just go back a few seconds. So you'll also notice that there's clouds going in front of it. So that means it cannot be a lens flare. And it says that in here, too. So I'm just pointing that out also. Okay, now here's this. Let me see if I can get it right on the right spot. Hold on. 
he added this on there too. I don't know exactly what this is, but I'll let you read it. You can also pause it too, but I'll, I'll leave it here for at least a few seconds so you have time to read it. Just in case it does happen, I would take heed to it. We've been hearing forever that there's going to be something that knocks out electricity. Could this thing be it? And again, he's stating, cannot be covered by clouds, not a lens flare. So if this really is out there, so I can't say for sure, you know, because I can't say that. Because there could be lots of trickery. I think that's it. But anyway... What if, though? What if? There was a lot of people who got halos today. I had seen two two uh, channels that had, uh, in Ohio, that had halos. Seven and Rob the Truth. Uh, Louisiana. Not my name, but his. And then um, somebody in Mississippi... And then I had somebody else that got it. I cannot remember what state he was in. So there's, you know, there was a, a bunch of different people in a bunch of different states that were seeing this halo today. And about the same time. And about the same time as this. Now, oh, as you saw, we went through. Let me go back now. Let me get to where it was ending. Hold on. Okay, right here. It was 19.38 UTC and 11.38 AM, their local time. So that would have made it 2.30 in the afternoon. So it's possible, just saying, throwing it out there. But that's crazy. And it's crazy that I uh, saw all these other people's videos. So thank you guys for recording this stuff too. And through Tim Foster for putting this out, because maybe they're hiding a planet in these halos. Now, if this thing is really that close to us, it will, you know, eventually it would have an effect on Earth. Now, in that thing, in the thing he said, he said there was like twin asteroids were supposed to hit the sun and cause the solar storm. I don't know about that, but maybe just the proximity of a, a large planet would do all that, you know? I think that's possible. So just throwing it out there. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if that large planet is showing up that big now, what's it going to look like in a month when the eclipse happens? Is it possible that this planet is going to be eclipsing the sun? Bum, bum, bum. Hopefully you stuck to the end to hear that little tidbit there. Thanks for watching. God bless.